Hey guys, I'm going to take you through a very quick tutorial just to show you how to change your normal hard drive on your MacBook Pro to a nice brand new SSD drive. Um, I've bought one of the Samson Evo 840s. Okay, so let's take it out of the packet. There you go, here's the, here's the drive. And you're going to need two special screwdrivers, um, which I'll, I'll take a little screenshot. And do a still shot of it. Um, you probably won't be able to see that through the camera. Um, I'll put the model numbers as well. Uh, you just need to carefully take out the back of the screws uh, using the standard Phillips screwdriver, quite small size. Um, just be careful when you take out the screws uh, to make sure you know where they go back in. I tend to just place them on the side and just try and keep them in the same position roughly as to where they go back in. So, as you can see, I've kept them uh, in shape, so I know exactly where they go back, and I've got the, the back of the laptop. Okay, so I'll put that back. Uh, and we take the, the lid off. Um, if you, you can't actually get your finger in around the front, but right around the back where the fan is, you can just lift that nice and easily. And, uh, there we go, that's what the inside of the mat looks. Here is the hard drive, which we're going to take out. We need to use the Philips again. Just so you can see where I'm unscrewing. It's this kind of locking mechanism here. Yeah. You can see this comes out, which locks the drive down. Put that aside. The drive out. Now don't pull it too hard because uh, it's actually attached. So just place that back down. And you just gently pull out attachment here, done, and that's the connector for the SAS drive, take that out, now this is where we need the special uh, star screwdriver, I don't know the actual name, if you can see that, um, and we just need to take out the screws here, We get our new drive, and we've got the side screws, do most of it with your fingers, don't do it too tight, just enough to be secure without breaking the thread on the screw. Okay, and then we're ready to reattach the drive. Uh, just plug that in. Okay. And here, when you plug that back in, uh, just slot that the pins in first there, and it should just drop in place like that. And then we put the locking mechanism back. Okay, just check that's secure. Okay, so that's it um, connected. Now, to install it, if you don't have Snow Leopard and you don't have a disc, or if you follow one of my other tutorials, which will show you how to replace the optical drive for another hard drive, and then you have no way of uh, connecting a CD drive, you can actually just install a Mac or OS X from the internet from boot time.